Hey guys, it's Rick at Elijah Tilling. Give me about 10 minutes of your time this time and I'll make it worth your while. Okay, today what we're gonna do is a demonstration we did for a customer or a prospect yesterday we thought, you know, this is really cool. We ought to show the rest of the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to load our vices. We're going to load a part. We're going to probe it in. We're going to cut it. And I'm not going not to waste a lot of your time doing the cutting part. But then we're going to unload it, unload the part, unload the vices, and then we're going to go to the next step which is to load our trunnion, load it, load apart, and start it up. What's the point? Well, we're trying to show you how fast you can lo load and unload your uh, parts, of course, and then also how fast it is to bring the trunnion in and precisely locate it, get it into place, and start machining with it. Now, we've done another video on that. And we did show the time, but I don't think we've shown the sequence where we do part on, part off, part on, part off. So here we go. Steve's gonna help me out and I'm gonna just narrate what he's doing. So we've got the flex vise. Like I've said before, he gets the old junk. Unfortunately, they still work really great, but he does not have the latest models. Those are not black for one but uh, they work great. What is he doing right now? He's pulling up desserts that locate them. So our, we call those retractable dowel pins. And then he likes to stabilize that um, the gripper. So he's gonna put desserts behind it. Right now he's pulling up the fasteners into the parts. So isn't that something? How, I don't know how long that took, but not very long. And uh, yeah, we should be timing this so you'll get an idea of what's going on in time, but you can already figure out it's pretty fast. Now the reality is that we know exactly where we're at because we are using the modular fixture. And the modular fixture is precisely made and it has a precise pattern on it. So we know exactly where we're putting these pieces. Now he's gonna probe it in anyway, but if you've used a probe before, you know that it's gotta be at least in the general vicinity. And here we go, we're gonna do a little bit of probing and then he's just gonna take a cut. We're trying to make this as practical as possible and what you guys would actually do in this circumstance. As you can see, it's picking up the center of the part and then it's also going to pick up the edge. So on this machine, we can skew the program minutely by the angle, if there is any angle. We don't think there is, but we might as well check against that. The square. Here we go, just a really fast program. Nothing coming off of there because we did this in the demo yesterday, but uh, no worries. This is just for demonstration purposes. What we want to see is how fast this stuff goes on and off. Here we go. So we're going to unload the part. Loading, unloading don't take very much time. And then we're going to unload the vices. Now remember that we're using invertible fasteners to hold the vices. 
So what he's doing is there's uh, threaded holes underneath the vise where the fastener has been picked up from from below. So what he was doing is clearing the hole there so that we can get to the fastener and then we zip them down. And there you go. Pretty fast, huh? Now he's still got to lower the zerts, but the great thing about the zerts is they just kind of live there and we can lower them or uh, raise them as we wish and as we uh, need them. They're nice to have in the fixture at all times so that we're not running around the shop looking for our dalpins. They also facilitate what is about to happen with the trunnion and that is we're going to slide a plate across that table and then instead of trying to drop dowels from the top, we're going to raise the Zerts retractable dowels up into the fixture plate. So you can slide that plate right across so there's no obstructions to what, they're, what we're doing. And this is our niche in the world. We are uh, making fixturing in which there are no obstructions to the machining or the uh, installation of our tooling parts, whatever it is that we're doing. As you can see that's a pretty fast process. We already have a video regarding the uh, roller cart that he's using there, but just take note, that was pretty easy. And our uh, trunnion lives on that cart, that's its home. We don't have to worry about picking it up and dropping it off, anything like that. All right, now what is he doing? Well, he's going to align the uh, alignment holes in the quick change plate with the zert in the um, modular fixture. Raise the zert. Remember, we're timing this. So normally the setup of a trunnion like this takes a considerable amount of time. In our case, it's not going to take that much time. We locate, we always locate on two pins, right? You guys know this? Not three pins, not one pin. So he's uh, rotated the plate over and now we're going to get the second pin. Now when you see him using the pneumatic tool, you know he's bringing up the fasteners into the quick change plate. So the fasteners are what are going to hold it in place. The Zerch retractable dowel pins are what are locating it. And like I said, we've done this before on video. We've uh, demonstrated the preciseness of this operation and, and in this particular case all we're trying to demonstrate is the speed of the setup. Now he's going to be installing one of our risers and the risers you can see is actually a mini modular fixture. It has four invertible fasteners in the top it has two zip bushings with zert locations there and then it also can um, you see the two counterboard holes so it's possible to drop bolts through there and hold it that way as well so in his case what he just did is he pulled up a fastener into it it's being held with fasteners but if you do not have the uh, invertible fasteners and you're more of a legacy type uh, manufacturer you haven't moved to our equipment yet you can still use this riser and actually our um, modular vices are all the same they can be used with uh, 
uh, uh, socket head cap screws. So the uh, riser has been installed on the modular fixture plate that sits on the platter of this trunnion device and now we're going to install our part for our machining. In our case here, this is kind of a unique part in the sense that it is, it's one of our vice pieces. You can see it's plastic, okay, so that it's for demonstration purposes, but uh, it, when we machine these, we actually do what he's doing right now and use it as its own holding capability. So it, the fasteners are being screwed up into these special T-nuts that go into the uh, into the base of this this vise, and that's how you would use the vise as well. You would use it to hold things, you know, to locate things. But it's also capable in this case, with the use of the invertible fasteners, to hold itself during machining. I've always thought that was kind of clever. And now we're going to uh, start the program. We know exactly where the part is because of the way we've set it up. And off she goes. I think we can stop the clock now. Uh, or uh, can we stop the clock now, Steve? Is that our, that's our entire setup. That is, the setup. that is the entire setup. Now we're getting ready to push the button and start the machining. There it goes. All right, there's no material there. Again, demo. So guys, thank you for joining me. I hope it's been informative for you. Let us know how we can help. All right, see you next time.